My name is Piercarlo Sarziputini and I'm a rheumatologist. I'm running the Department of Rheumatology in, uh, in Milan at the University Hospital Luigi Sacco. As a clinician, obviously, I, I was, uh, I'm working on, uh, on, uh, on uh, registries and especially on uh, biotechnology registries because we, we all know that, that the data from the randomized control studies can give us certain information, but the observational studies and, uh, and in, in the long term, they can give us answer like uh, side effect, like malignancies or infection that cannot be taken as good as for granted by a randomized control. But that is a short time, and so I'm working a lot in Italy on on um, on the registries, and this is uh, I'm pr I will present here some data about why are so relevant registering rheumatoid arthritis and. Um, I think this is going to be something that is good also for people who work on the basic side, on the, on the basic part of the, of the, of the science, I think, and I hope they will appreciate it. Well, the main message is that, that, that we can always improve our quality of treatment of our patient. So definitely we have to um, focus that we are building the guidelines uh, uh, the more appropriate guidelines, experiences, both randomized trial and observational studies. And this is something that we should learn to handle because in this way we'll be able to treat more aggressively the patient, more properly. We may find biomarkers that would tell us which drug is better for one patient to another because anyway, if we are here, we are here for the patients. So uh, we, we should not forget that we're not here only for writing nice scientific papers or basic science or, or experimenting in, in mouse. We are here because our mission is to treat the patient and this is, should never be forgotten in any, in, any, in any of these occasions. Well, I think this uh, autoimmunity congress has, you know, has uh, um, a lot of uh, success for, for many different reasons. One of the reasons is obviously and the most important is scientific one. This is a meeting where that is not specific of a single specialty. So it's not for rheumatologists, for immunologists, for basic scientists, but it's for everyone. So in a way you have the chance to, com to compare your knowledge with different type of uh, uh, scientists, basic or clinical scientists, and I think you can get a lot out of it because it's not the usual group of people that you meet at your own specialty meeting. This is probably the part of the key of the success. The second point is this Congress is really built up also on a, on a each one knowledge. So we all, most of us knows particularly of the people that is here. So it's like a big, let's say, uh, let's, uh, let's say like you have shared, it's a big autoimmunity family. And this is another uh, interesting story because you have the chance to to deepen uh, your, the knowledge of people that you already know, you have a chance to, to organize, for example, clinical trial or, or research stuff and uh, exchange uh, ideas with other people. And this is something that is really uh, not so usual in a, in a, in a, in a formal uh, congress of the, of the scientific society. So this is something that is really is, is really good. And the third one, obviously, is the location. We choose uh, locations that are not too big, but they're not too small, and they are usually nice to see and good, good uh, um, converse centers, and we have the chance to stay and to feel at home, and this is another thing that is quite relevant for people coming here.